speakers on the dais, and we begin right away. I would not like to be in between the speakers and the interested audience here. May I call upon Swami Golakananda to present his talk on concept of God in Hinduism. Swami Golakananda. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome him. Respected Chairman of the meeting, Dr. Nair, Revered Father, the dignitaries on the dais, and my brothers. It is a matter of joy and pride for me to be here with you. Because there is now a mood to understand each other. When we understand each other, we con the, the natural implication of it is that we would love each other. And that is what the Hinduism preach, the Christianity, Islam, every other religion preach, that we live with love as brothers on this earth and have a happy life. I am supposed to talk to you about the concept of God in Hinduism. The basic idea about the concept of God in Hinduism is that the Lord, who is omniscient, all-powerful, all-pervading, the Lord, He is the source of this universe. He is the sustenance of this universe and also he is the sanctuary, the source, the sustenance and sanctuary of the manifested universe is the Lord. That is the basic idea. All, the, all of us have, the whole universe have come from him. It lives in him and it goes back to him. We live and move and have our being in God, that is the, at the spiritual level it means that. So that is the basic idea. Now what about, uh, there are three entities in this universe for us to understand. We, we, we are trying to understand from time immemorial these three entities, the man, inquisitiveness, to understand what is God, his inquisitiveness to understand what is the world that we confront, we, what is the relationship between we, the mortals, and the Lord. That relationship, that is a great discount, subject of great study in Hinduism. God, world, man. How do we understand, how, do, how are we related? These three things, how are these three things related to each other? That is a great subject in Hinduism to understand, of study. There are three philosophies, three types of philosophies in Hinduism. And all these three philosophies have their own approaches. But ultimately I think all of them converge into one concept. Three philosophies in Hinduism is Advaita Vedanta, Advaita. The other is Vishishtva Advaita. The other is Dvaita. Dvaita we understand. The Dvaita philosophy will tell us the Lord, the repository of all auspicious qualities from whom the world has come into being. We are in Him and we go back to Him. He is our supporter. He is the source of all that is auspiciousness, goodness, nobility. God, we are eternally, eternally related to Him as a servant or as a son. That is to say, philosophically speaking, that is to say, those Doida philosophies will say, we and God and ourselves, individuals, we are eternally different entities. We are different and the Lord is different, but we are eternally related to Him 
we are dependent upon him we depend upon him for everything and uh, of everything so we have that uh, separateness from him also they hold that the word also is different from god and uh, the human believing beings so the living beings the inanimate objects in the world and god these three there are three entities and they are eternally different from each other that is the view held by the dwaitins the other school which is star dwaitins qualified monism they say no we are not distinct we are not separate we are not completely qualitatively we are not separate from him we are distinct true but qualitatively we are not uh, away from him distinct from him they give us an example there is a huge fire and sparks come out qualitatively the spark and the fire is the same is the fire the one is a huge fire the other is only a particle but in yet in essence in quality it is the same in the same way we are part of the lord we are not away from him we are not distinct from him we are qualitatively alike we are part of him and the, the world also is part of him there is no separate entity distinct entity as uh, the human as the doidens uh, insist we are part of him the world is part of him everything is it is he who is uh, manifesting himself as the world and the living beings then we come to the third point advaitin perhaps the islam philosophy is all more or less uh, <coughs> close to the advaita philosophy of hinduism the advaitin uh, will uh, will not accept these two points they will say all the three philosophy all the three systems what they the common point among them is that what you say that the lord is the source sustenance and sanctuary yes true we accept everyone accepts because that is uh, proclaimed in the vedas vedas are the ultimate authority for the hindus just as quran is the ultimate authority for the islam just as bible is the ultimate authority for christian religion for the hindus it is the vedas vedas they are that is the ultimate authority for the hindus then you may ask me what about the ramayanam what about bhagavatam what about the so many puranas so many scripture scriptures that the hindus have yes they have all secondary important only first comes vedas then they are divided into four rigveda yajurveda samaveda atharvaveda then comes the next in importance comes itihasas because you would love you would like to know what the the inside of the hindu philosophy and religion that is why i am elaborating a little itihasas mahabharata you are you have heard about surely mahabharata you have heard about uh, ramayana these are the two itihasas in hinduism then you are also familiar with the uh, bhagavata other puranas puranas 18 puranas the most uh, common among them is bhagavata that is to say most popular among them is bhagavata then there is uh, shiva puranam then there is a uh, vishnu puranam in all these things in all these puranas what is done is the, the ultimate uh, reality the ultimate reality which they qualify in the vedas the vedas proclaim the that uh, about the ultimate re- re- reality what the vedas say is ekam sat vipraha bahutha vadanti truth is one the sages call it by various names truth is one god is one the ultimate reality